Welcome to Lego Football Supersized. Before we get started, subscribe. We've got some exciting projects coming up. Let's get started. Every big football stadium needs a stand for the spectators. This was done by stacking plates in a step light pattern. Two plates high for one stud across. Along the aisles where the seats go, I only did this pattern to the aisles. Behind the seats I stacked the plates four high by two studs wide. This will allow your seats to fit in and still give you an even pattern on the steps. The roof also doesn't need to be complicated. It can be just made up of plates with a few details on top. Because it will be one of the first things you see, add some features such as lights and a frame for good measure. The lights can be as simple as a 2x2 radar dish and a clear plate. Under the main stand is a good place for the locker rooms. This is where you can really put some nice details in such as toilets, showers and of course lockers. You could also try adding team shirts to the locker rooms by making the lockers two studs deep and making the wall behind offset by half a stud. In episode 3 I took you on a tour of Brick Effects Arena with its sweeping terrace level. The terraces above the concourse level were built with a snot technique or studs not on top. This technique allows for a better curve and reduces large gaps between the segments. It also saves on tiles and makes cleaning and dusting the model a lot easier. The first step to building the terrace was to build a small section in order to work out the overall scale. In order to join the small sections together, each small section had to have clip plates built in at three locations, the top, the bottom and the front. In these three locations there are a series of Lego hoses and lightsaber bars that connect all sections together. The first part of roof construction was constructing the frame that the roof would sit on. In Brick Effects Arena there are 18 of them placed around the terrace level, made primarily out of plates, tiles and hinge plates allowed me to shape the frame around the terrace. Each roof frame is connected back to the terrace at two points, one at the top of the terrace and one at the bottom. Both connection points compress the terrace together, creating a strong fixing back to the terrace. The curved roof itself is made up of white plates and lots of them. Each section of roof between the frame are made up of five equal bays of panels. These bays of panels are connected back to the roof with a series of clip plates that are connected to bars that are in turn connected to the main roof frames with clip tiles. Whilst the principle of the design was quite simple, it was actually quite fiddly to build, but worth it to build a unique football stadium. You can also see some of my other creations at brickeffects.com.au Thanks for joining us 